Inventing Tomorrow is about young high school kids who participate in science competitions. They all have, the ones that we portrayed have all uh, projects that are environmentally based and all the projects that they chose are based on their environment. So one girl is from India and uh, she's from, from Bangalore, which is like the fastest growing community or city in India. And it's a, originally it's the city of lakes, but the lakes are so polluted that they ignite themselves and just, you know, suddenly the lake is on fire. Another project is, is in Hawaii and the third one in Mexico and the fourth one in Indonesia. I'm always interested in projects that is about young people who are thriving to, to change the world. And, and what I love about these characters is really that they, it's not about being a science, it's really about solving the problem that surrounds them. So there's really that, that thrive to like change the community for a better. Our goal was to, to see the environment through the kids' eyes. So it was always very, we would, we would always let the kids lead us into the environment. So the entire film is shot handheld to be really close with them and to, be, to feel like we're in their world with them rather than looking at them. And because it was, of, uh, because it was about environmental issues, w we chose to either be close with the kids and then show wide shots about the environment. We didn't really come up with a different style for each section because the, the we also wanted to unify the kids because the, the idea is like it doesn't matter where you live. Right? We're all dealing with these environmental issues and, and the point is to really address them together and start to communicate with each other so that they can help each other with their projects. We shot Inventing uh, Tomorrow on the Amira. First of all, I like the looks, I like how the colors uh, the graduation of the colors, so that was my first choice. And then it's, it's a, to me, it's a very versatile camera. And as far as look, I really wanted to go for a faded look because the environment that they live in is so distressed. In color timing, we, we tried to, to support the ideas that we already implemented during the shooting. So we added uh, grain to really give it that texture, to give the environment that texture. But also the skin tones. I just love the skin tones with a little bit more texture than, and, and you know, 16 year old kids can really handle that well, very well. But we also applied a, a rather, we pulled the colors back a tad to, to support that idea of the, the, the distressed environment and the, the environmental challenges. One of the most memorable moments were really when we were in Indonesia and we would go with one of our characters, Nuha, who is a 16-year-old girl, and she's tiny. Like, we would go with her to visit the illegal uh, tin miners who were in the middle of the ocean on like homemade pompons. Um, and she was just so brazen to just go out there, introduce herself and say like, what you guys are doing is wrong and I understand why you're doing it, but let me help you figure out how to do it right. You know, and here you have that tiny girl uh, in her hijab, you know, what, especially here where people have a very specific idea about who these women are. Uh, and he, she is approaching these illegal tin miners and just telling them what's wrong with their methods and how they're impacting the, the environment badly. And they were actually really listening to her. So that was amazing to capture.